breaking news. Bungie's marathon reaction, quote, isn't great, it's claimed. The views around Bungie's upcoming extraction shooter marathon don't appear to be all that good. In an appearance on the Friends Per Second podcast, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier was asked for a temperature check on the state of the game. And his response, as you could have expected after the past two weeks, specifically of all the layoffs and restructuring and stuff, wasn't all that possible. Jason says, not great from what i've heard he said there's a reason it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year let's see let's see what they say i was gonna say what's the temperature check on how marathon is going (laughs) um not great from what i've heard um Mm. there's a reason that it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year and people that i've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline but we'll see i i don't know exactly when that is some sometime in 2025 i'm not sure um yeah i mean the sentiment i've heard is not great around it at least as of a few months ago hmm, hmm. bear in mind this is the very same thing yeah this follows an article from march where it was reported on by Paul Tassie, specifically that they hired a new guy to take over the game, basically. And in his bio, he describes experience, of course, with hero shooters and stuff, but um, specifically here. So what's weird about this is the timeline. IGN's uh, Rebecca Valentine published an article about the state of Bungie and one significant change that former Valorant game director Joe Ziegler, who joined Bungie in 2022, was now game director of Marathon, replacing Christopher Barrett. What's weird about this is the timeline. As Ziegler says, he has been the game director for nine months, which was never announced until this IGN article forcibly revealed it, and that would have been just weeks after Barrett premiered Marathon in a showcase in May of 2023. There are no reasons given for the change, and Barrett is now simply listed as executive creative director at Bungie with unclear responsibilities. But what caught the attention of players themselves was a note about an apparent change in direction for Marathon, that the game is, quote, moving away from custom player characters in favor of a selectable cast of heroes. The idea here seems to be that instead of the promised player customization that was spoken about during the reveal, this would instead be a hero-based extraction game instead, channeling Ziegler's former game, Valorant. Now, live service games take a very long time to make, okay? They just do. And as a result, when you hear about changes happening, very late in the dev cycle, something as foundational as pivoting from customizable characters to heroes. That gives you a reason to be like, hold up, wait a minute. It's weird. It's it's not what you'd hope to see because you'd hope that they had a clear vision from the very start of development and that they followed that all the way through. But they're making last minute changes and usually make changes because you identify some sort of problem or feedback is negative. So you got to shake something up and you pair this with what, uh, of course, Jason Trier is saying in that article or in that interview, and it makes you really pause and think, okay, well, well, maybe, maybe uh, they're changing stuff kind of in a panic to try and fix stuff or to, to get some sort of different reaction. Um, at the very least, I think you're right, uh, Digiri, is it does not inspire confidence, to say the very least. I totally, totally agree. Now, some people, of course, will point to this and be like, well, but there's lots of hero shooters that are really good. Yes. But that's not really the point that's being brought up here. It's not that it's a hero shooter, therefore it will be bad. For one, it's that hero shooters are are extremely oversaturated in the market right now. And just honestly, in the market right now, anytime there's a new hero shooter or anything with heroes, 95% of the roster is just filled with the most cringy, unlikable people or characters you could possibly fathom. And yet... They're put in there as if you're supposed to fall in love with them or think that they're really, really badass. You know, it's the type of characters you see and you just know that the devs were expecting you to like snap an agreement. Because again, the types of people that make those those types of cringy characters for some reason just think that that's so badass. Yeah, they like hot sauce. Wow, just like me. How relatable. Hashtag Concord. So that's one part of it is that it's oversaturated. The other part of it is that, and I would say the more crucial part of it, is that this is a change that's being made last minute 
in the, the context of the game's development, which is like a pretty foundational change. It's not like, hey, we decided to cut sniper rifles from the game because the map design just wasn't accommodating to that. So we've decided to only focus on close range and mid range weaponry. That I think makes sense. That's like, okay, well, that's a, that's a change that might've just come out organically of the development process. But something like, like this is, is much more foundational. It's a huge change to just casually be making in this impulsive way. Right. But anyway, going back to this again, I just think it's really important to just distinguish. It's not the fact that marathon is a hero now seemingly a hero shooter uh hero extraction shooter it's that this change was made so late in development which uh, you know even constituted a full replacement of the game director and that's not something you do impulsively you do that out of desperation which is the broader point again just to take jason's quote <laughs> um not great from what I've heard. Um, mm. There's a reason that it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year. And people that I've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline. But we'll see. I, I don't know exactly when that is. Some Sometime in 2025. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the sentiment I've heard is not great around it, at least as of a few months ago. Just a few months ago. And that's not what you'd be hoping to hear. You'd hope to hear, oh, people are loving it. We're just filling out content for it. We're eating it up. So we'll see. We'll see. But I mean, I, it's why it's also strange to me that everybody's just assuming this is going to be like really, really solid. Like guys, Bungie has been a bit of a train wreck for like three to four years at least. And they're actively a train wreck. I mean, they're laying off and getting rid of like a quarter of the jobs in their, their offices. I know Sony's taken in some and then they're spinning these other guys off into another another team but also now sony is stepping in and replacing a lot of the middle managers so bungie is going to be less independent they're going to be much more supervised which very well could help this game recover i mean it could help marathon end up being really really good but i don't understand the the people that are just like assuming it'll actually be really really good like you know that I, I wouldn't i wouldn't assume that wouldn't assume that it's the same thing with that like kojima espionage game people are like wow it's gonna be his return to metal gear just in a new ip i'm like he didn't say it was metal gear he said he was gonna meld cinema and like movies and video games it sounds to me like it's just gonna be an interactive movie but like a spy thriller directed by kojima with cringy dialogue i would not just assume it's gonna be metal gear 2.0 like that's not what they were saying it is <laughs> You know, like it's it's just it's not how that works. But anyway, we'll see we'll see how Marathon shapes up. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's probably year plus because it's now been delayed into next year. So we'll see how they they tie it up and how they fix it up as we get closer. But hopefully, this last year of development, they can figure out what the hell to do with it. But the fact that Jason Schreier is talking to people who not have played it, who have worked on it, and they're not feeling that positive about it. That's a big deal because, again, Jason doesn't just make stuff up or be like, I heard from a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy that works there. Like he's talking to them and they're saying. Eh. So props to, to Jason for, for the uh, for the reporting and hopefully they figure it out. He took my thing.